Welcome to User Defined Dimensions. So now you want to go beyond standard dimensions and you need a unique dimension to reflect your individual business needs. You can create a user defined dimension or dimensions. In a moment, we'll look at a sample use case. However, as a prerequisite to creating a user defined dimension, your company needs to be platform enabled and have a custom application available in which to deploy the dimension. After creating and deploying the dimension, you can add values to it. Using user defined dimensions, you can create your own user defined dimensions without being a programmer. A user defined dimension can be further defined as a general ledger dimension. You can enforce journal entry balancing, autofill information within a transaction based on a relationship you establish between dimensions. You can restrict the use to the entity owner. If not, the user defined dimension will be available to all entities. Check help for more information. For best practice, consult Sage Intact's professional services. Let's take a closer look at dimensions. You have a set of standard dimensions right out of the box with Sage Intact. You could use them as is or repurpose them as needed by changing their terminology. However, your current standard dimensions may be different than what is shown since they are determined by your subscriptions. Here, represented in green, you can see all the standard dimensions available. In blue, you can see that I've set up a user-defined dimension for channel, and you will have room to grow if you plan to add more user-defined dimensions. Please refer to help for further information. Let's break down dimensions even more. You can create a powerful concept called dimension groups. For example, customers can be grouped by region or type, and these groups can be used for filtering in lists, reports, and dashboards. In the report to the far right, Sectors represents a customer group which was set up as a dimensional structure for this report. The terminology for class was changed to segment. As your business grows and changes, you can create user-defined dimensions. You can create dimension groups as well. Let's move on to our use case. In this use case example, standard dimensions were not enough to accomplish the business needs of a growing and changing business. They need to track various channels for their business so they can have better insights into their reporting by filtering on the new user defined dimension by using Sage and Tax dynamic filtering. Based on their business model, they need to identify their customers as either direct channel or reseller channel. Their CFO wants to review reports and dashboards to filter key metrics based on this new user defined dimension. First, I'm going to demonstrate the new user defined dimension based on our use case. Then, I'll show you how the new user-defined dimension has a value and how it is attached to many customers. Next, we'll look at how the CFO can use Sage and Tax dashboard to dynamically filter based on the new user-defined dimension, then drill down to the journal entry transactions. From the application menu, we will go to the user-defined dimension, application to channels, click on direct, and we can see that we've set up a direct channel and a value called manager, identifying that Max Powers is the manager of the direct channel. We can see that many of the customers have also been attached to this user defined dimension. Let's take a look at Corley Energy. And then let's see how it's been tagged to the direct channel. From the CFO dashboard, let's review the dashboard properties. Let's validate that we've added the new user defined dimension as a filter. Notice how it is filtered on all channels. Now let's change the user defined dimension and filter on the direct channel. Notice after applying the filter, all of the revenue actuals and percentage variances dynamically changed. Let's drill down into the direct channel into the general ledger report to review the journal entries for a contract for Corley Energy. Notice that I set a contract for Corley Energy. The autofill feature has automatically tagged the direct channel to the journal entries, the contract, and the customer. What I just showed was the user defined dimension based on a use case for direct and reseller channels. We saw the relationship between a channel and the customer. We saw how a CFO used the user defined dimension as a dynamic filter on a dashboard. 
Then we saw how the direct channel user defined field was tagged automatically to the journal entries, the contract, and the customer, all of which went, went beyond the standard dimensions that were also tagged on the journal entries and the contract. Now I'm going to show you some of the setup for the user defined dimension for channels. Let's go to Sage Intact application menu for the user defined dimension setup for the channels and then look at the object definition. You can also get to the object definition from the platform services menu. Let's edit properties and attributes and hover over learn more. Obviously we enabled the object to be deployed in order to use the object. We enabled this object as a user-defined general ledger dimension. In this case, we chose not to enforce balancing in the general ledger, although you could do that. We enabled auto-filled related objects. We also enabled override of auto-filled objects. We did not limit the record of availability for the creating entity so that all entities could use this user-defined dimension. Let's go look further at the object properties and attributes. A new field was created for the manager to track the person responsible for the channel. Now, also notice that a relationship was set up for contracts and for the customer. Considerations when using user-defined dimensions. You cannot use for grouping and custom docs. Sometimes you do not integrate well with Sage Intact Marketplace partners. You should discuss this with the partner as service work could be required. User-defined dimensions may not have the same user interface for ID name in the display or type ahead if you use the default of the ID. On dimension forms, if you create a dimensional relationship, you should also change the picker on the field. There's no parent-child relationship between other user-defined dimensions, and you cannot export a platform app with user-defined dimensions. Please see additional documentation for a workaround. And for best practice, consult Sage and Tax Professional Services. Thank you for watching this video on user defined dimensions.